2018 Kia Stinger GT is a breath of fresh air in the Korean automaker's lineup. After years of building cheap and mostly forgettable appliances, Kia and Hyundai finally started to build truly solid products that no longer needed to be marketed as just a value proposition. Once the company finally got reliability, build quality and styling down, it really needed to focus on performance if it had any plans to be a fully rounded automaker. Hyundai is doing very much the same thing with cars like the new Veloster M. On paper, we should be comparing the Stinger GT to cars like the Dodge Charger. Size, pricing and power are all about the same, but that's not really where we're at. Kia is talking more about cars like the Audi A5, BMW 3 Series and other luxury sedans, and that is how we're seeing it too. It shows just where Kia is aiming with this car. The car we have this week is the base GT, the lowest spec model available with a 365 horsepower twin turbo V6. This is the same engine that's available in the Genesis G80 Sport. While the GT1 trim doesn't get things like a moonroof or a 720 watt stereo system, it's still pretty well equipped. You get heated leather seats, power front seats, a touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, keyless entry and dual zone climate control. Performance upgrades include Rambo brakes and 19-inch wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, our car was wearing all seasons thanks to Old Man Winter.